Since 1974, efforts have been underway to upgrade crossings across the U.S. Today, 60,400 out of 164,000 crossings are signalized nationwide. In 1996, 415 deaths and 1,545 injuries were attributed to crashes at crossings. In that same year, North Carolina was ranked 13th nationally for crossing incidents. The cost of personal injury and property damage is very high as motorists continue to take their chances at crossings, even those that are signalized. What you are about to see is actual video footage of gate runners. Norfolk Southern's main line between Greensboro and Charlotte, North Carolina is host to high levels of freight traffic from the industrial northeast to the heart of the south. Also, six passenger trains use this route daily. Historically, this route has a high rate of crossing incidents due to the ever-growing highway traffic in the urban areas along the corridor which crosses the tracks at numerous at-grade crossings. Over the past ten and a half years, 125 incidents involving 56 injuries and 31 fatalities have occurred on the corridor. In 1992, the United States Department of Transportation identified the Raleigh-Greensboro-Charlotte route as one of five nationally designated corridors for state high-speed rail development efforts. Under sections 1010 and 1036 of the Federal Intermodal Surface Transportation Efficiency Act of 1991, Funding was designated for crossing safety improvements along these corridors. This funding was used by the North Carolina Department of Transportation and Norfolk Southern to conduct a series of tests at the Sugar Creek Road crossing in Charlotte, which is traversed by an average of 23,000 vehicles per day. Using a digital camera system called the Violator, railroad and state officials were able to capture images of gate runners. Also, each crossing was equipped with an intelligent signal monitoring system to monitor the performance of each crossing and automatically provide notification of malfunctions. For 20 weeks, baseline data was collected at the Sugar Creek Road crossing. Median barriers were then installed, followed by four quadrant gates, and then finally, four quadrant gates with median barriers. Using each of these barrier enhancements, the number of gate running incidents was significantly reduced. A second location, also in Charlotte, was chosen to test the effectiveness of other barrier devices. This crossing on Orr Road is traversed by an average of 11,000 vehicles per day. The Henderson Street crossing in Salisbury was selected for a digital video ticketing system. In cooperation with local law enforcement and judicial officials, violators will be ticketed in a test that is the first of its kind in North Carolina. A demographic study of violators will be conducted by the University of North Carolina's Highway Safety Research Center, called CLEAR, Crossing Law Enforcement and Research of Violations. A summary report of this project will be produced. Considering the success of the test, it was decided to expand the project to test these various barrier devices at crossings on a corridor basis between Greensboro and Charlotte, thus sealing the corridor from violations. There are 132 public and private crossings on the Greensboro-Charlotte corridor, over a distance of 92 miles, of which 89 have active warning devices. This comprehensive corridor approach includes evaluation of each crossing to determine the appropriate treatments, which include closure and consolidation of redundant and or unsafe crossings, median barriers, longer gate arms, articulated gates, four quadrant gates, four quadrant gates with medians, video ticketing, grade separations, 
special signage, intelligent signal monitoring. The data that has been gathered at these test locations fully support this comprehensive corridor approach. You may be surprised at who's running the gates. A police officer? A school bus driver? A motorist? A truck driver? and even children. This project will improve crossing safety and improve the efficiency of Norfolk Southern's intermodal and freight service as well as North Carolina's passenger service. Remember, every 90 minutes, a highway railroad collision will occur.